Yep, this is all the work. This is the magic happening. <laughs> <laughs> we actually made decisions. We are making the internet. <laughs> Top 50 cycle. People gotta be able to take a break. Have you tried to top 25? Have you We got we got a great little ping pong picker up there. I just made a PVC pipe and a bed. Okay, so this is where the devs are down here for the most part. We'll take, a, we'll take a loop around here. Uh, about half of our programmers, about half of our developers are remote. Uh, we have your, several people in Britain. We've got uh, a guy in Germany. We've got a guy in Israel. Uh, we've got a guy in North Carolina. We've got a guy in Oregon. Uh, all over the world. And we've worked really hard to make it possible for people to work from home or work remotely and be treated exactly equally as the people who are here. The only exception being they don't get the awesome lunch. But uh, besides that, you know, when we have meetings, we always do them online. Uh, and we're very good at just integrating everybody into the process from around the world. Uh, the reason we do that is because that's, you know, we can't limit our choices in terms of getting good talent. If we said you have to physically be in New York, that's going to cut off a lot of really good programmers. So we can't do that. It's an uncompetitive thing to do. So, hmm. uh, so yeah, we have programmers all over the world. And it's been that way from the start, from the very beginning. The first four people that worked in Stack Overflow, no two of them were within several hundred miles of each other. You know, West Coast, East Coast. Yeah, so physically in the office here we have 12. <laughs> but, okay, about 12 of our people are here, and about a similar number are around the world. So uh, here's, here's the developers back here. Yeah. We got a tour group. Oh, really? Yeah, from RIT. RIT. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And so you can see our hexagonal offices here. <laughs> and that's Wall Street, about three blocks south of here. The tall buildings are all facing on Wall Street. That's Deutsche Bank and some other buildings there. Nice. Yep. So we're facing south here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's see. South is that some pretty awesome views. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty nice. It's so, it's, uh, what is like your what, what's the power responsibility here? Uh, okay. Uh oh. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a little East Side Story thing going on. All right. And we're gonna walk through. All right, we're gonna let them through. What's this story with the unicorns? With the unicorns? Uh, it. I'm not sure how that came to be. That also was a very early thing. The original founders had this thing for unicorns. I just think they thought it was funny. Uh, I don't know where it came from, but it stuck. <laughs> to the point now that half, you know, we actually hand out unicorn dollars to people. Maybe we have some upstairs. Uh, it's really quite ridiculous. I don't remember where it came from, but it, it seems to stick around. Uh, one of our founders, Joel, is, uh, has written books about you know, how developers work and how they should work and how they like to work. And so it's a big thing for us that developers actually have private offices. You know, a lot of startups mm -hmm. like the open office plan, uh, and we think that's not good. We think it's not a good thing. It's one of those things that sounds good, but when you want a developer to actually work mm -hmm. and be comfortable and get things done, uh, they like being able to close the door and put on some headphones and not be interrupted and just be in the zone for quite a while. So that's why you know we are very adamant about developers actually having offices. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of companies think the open office plan is a good thing, and we think they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll head back upstairs. Yeah.